Hello and good afternoon from your Cart Community Stadium. I'm Sean Cashmore. Back next to me today is the ever trusty Craig Barnes and you join us for this Southern League Central fixture. It's fourth place Leamington versus top of the table Needham Market. Leamington come into this without a league defeat at home here since August when they were narrowly defeated 1-0 by Mickelover and that is in fact the only home league defeat they have suffered all season. They're also unbeaten in all competitions in their last 11 since they were defeated away in December to, you guessed it, today's opposition, Needham Market. A fortnight ago, the break started off with a 1-0 lead inside the first 60 seconds, courtesy of skipper Adam Walker, and that set them well on their way to a 3-1 win over Royston that included goals from Stewart and Chirac. Leamington could not repeat that goal-scoring form last weekend when they travelled across to Latimer Park and were held to a frustrating 0-0 draw against Kettering. Today's opponents need a market travel up the country to Yakult Community Stadium for the first time in the club's history. The reverse fixture between these two in which the market men picked up all three points was in fact the two's first ever encounter. Need a market are the league's front runners, there's no doubt about that. With Mikulova recently hitting a bit of a sticky patch, the market men have stepped up on the gas and find themselves top with three games in hand over their near rivals who were two points behind in Redditch. Leamington try and get on the offensive straight away but they're just nipped out of it and it goes all the way back into the midfield area where it's just touched forward by Niedermarket that's going to go all the way through to Callum Hawkins who sends it long up towards Landers. Landers left footed drive just wide really neat play it was touched down into the path of Landers. Landers had time to set it on his left peg had a go swung through it and it was just wide of the right hand upright of the Needham Market goalkeeper. Well, almost a very similar start to last time we played at home against Royston with a nice early goal to settle Leamington, but Landers couldn't get it on target. And Landers is actually yet to score in 2024. Um, as William Shorrock has started to come into four, Landers has just dropped off it a little bit. Shurok into Barnett, Shurok again, Shurok drops it onto his left, drops a shoulder, can he get to the dead ball on and get across him? Has his ankles clipped, all the Leamington players surround the referee and he runs away from it and Shurok stays down in the box. Well, it looked a clumsy challenge, we play on, ball in towards Barnett, Barnett has a go, offside flag is up and now the Leamington players will go back across to the referee to instigate the conversation in terms of the foul what wasn't given on Shirok over on the far side of the penalty area. Well, you can certainly see why there were strong claims, couldn't you? He um, had his, seemed to have his ankles clipped. Down he went, and uh, in the reverse fixture, there was lots of controversy about whether Leamington should have had a penalty or two as they slipped to that 2-1 defeat. Edwards heads away, back to him again. This time Edwards clears away over onto the right-hand side. It's headed forward by the market man, only as far as Meredith. Meredith, Landers, Landers, good control. Hooks one over the top for Barnett to give chase and Barnett might keep this in. Barnett does well to keep it in and then scoops it away from his man fantastically. Barnett inside the area, lays it back to Stewart. Stewart, left footed driving towards Barnett and again. Barnett looks offside, he is offside. And then it's scooped back towards the goalkeeper. But Tyrone Barnett did really well. Not only to keep it in on the dead ball line, but then the scoop around the corner to actually beat his man and get off the floor, make his way into a dangerous position inside the box and then just help it back towards Callum Stewart who just couldn't really seem to get the power into it with get the ball out of his feet. Didn't see Paul Holloran's protestations but a man of such experience of course 696th game in charge this afternoon would you believe for Paul Holloran in that 15th season with the club after joining the breaks in 2009 so far all he's picked up is a booking so far this afternoon. Needham try and help it in towards the penalty area. Wow, Theo Street has brought down his man and it's a penalty. Well, Theo Street just looked to try and muscle his man out of it, really. I didn't really think there was too much contact. I didn't really think personally there was anything in the challenge. Theo Street just looked to try and protect his man out of the ball and let the ball run through towards Callum Hawkins. The Needham market player went down and the referee had no hesitation in pointing to the spot. Well, as I say, there was controversy in the reverse fixture when Leamington thought they should have had two penalties. They think they should have had one in this game earlier on. And uh, straight away, the referee there, after that challenge from Theo Street, straight pointing to the penalty spot. Well, Callum Hawkins will stand against Ingram. Ingram will step up right-footed for the market men goes down low saved by Hawkins great save Hawkins got down big right hand pushed it round the post you'd have to think 
that justice is done. Well, that will certainly be the way that the uh, Leamington players, the coaching staff and supporters will feel. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was controversial to say the least. And uh, well done, Callum Hawkins. That was a great strong hand, tipping it round the post, but still the corner to defend. Hawkins looks pumped up after every goalkeeper who saved a penalty. Now he's got the bit between his teeth, barking out instructions at his back line. Jamie McGrath has it on the left-hand side, in towards Lay, who's on as a substitute, back in towards McGrath again. McGrath, just a bit of a heavy touch as he was put under pressure by Walker. Street collects for the breaks and Quainer clears. Up towards Barnett. Barnett does really well. Good chest control. Now can he slip it in towards Chirac? Yes, he can. Chirac sees Stewart in space. Callum Stewart, one-on-one. -on -one. Good save by the keeper. Cleared away, only as far as Barnett, who has sent it all the way, almost out of Warwickshire, out of the ground, over the hedge and far away. Callum Stewart was one-on-one -on -one, though, he had the original chance, it was good play from Tyrone Barnett after he held it up, he fed it into Shirok. Shirok got his head up, saw Callum Stewart in all sorts of space, you would have bet your house on Callum Stewart scoring from there, but he didn't, it came back out to Tyrone Barnett, who then nearly hit your house with the follow-up effort. Leamington head away, Barnett tries to help it on, headed more up than away, Landers comes to meet it, the two collide in the air but it was more shoulder to shoulder than anything else and Mark Niedermarket play on the left hand side with Allen, Allen good feet infield by Lay, Lay though just stabbed away from him by Edwards and then it's just going to have a speculative drive from Lay from all of 35 yards on the half volley but that one's easily clutched out of the air by Callum Hawkins. And uh, yeah, just talking about Callum Hawkins, obviously superb save by the way in that first half, but uh, lovely interview on the Southern League website with him last week. I uh, recommend a read of that. Flicked on by Barnett into the pass of Stewart. Stewart though brought down and the referee is going to point to the spot and Leamington now are going to be the ones who have a penalty and need a market are apoplectic at the referee. It's Daniel Morphew who cannot believe the decision and now there is going to be a yellow card, I think, more for you for the protestations. He feels that he didn't touch Callum Stewart. Callum Stewart went down. He used that pace and that tenacity after the flick on by Barnett to try and get round the back of his man. And then there was a coming together. Stewart went down and the referee wasted no time in pointing to the spot. So Leamington will feel they should have had a penalty in the first half. They need to mark it with the ones who did get a penalty in the first half. That was missed by Luke Ingram. And now at the same end, Callum Stewart, the man who has won this penalty, has a chance to give the breaks the lead and to rack up his 19th goal of the season. It's Callum Stewart against Garnham once again. Garnham came out on top last time these two were one-on-one. -on -one. Can Stewart now do it from the spot? Stewart steps up to it right-footed. Sends Garnham down to his left-hand side, save. Barnett saved, back towards Shorrock. What a save by Garnham. We've had two penalty misses here. And this one from Marcus Garnham is just as good as Callum Hawkins. Stewart went down low and hard, but Garnham got a big right hand to it. And then save from the follow-up from Tyrone Barnett as well. It stays Leamington nil, need a market nil. What drama. I mean, that is a good, as good a save as Callum Hawkins, to be fair. That was a great, you know, went the same way did Callum Stewart as Ingram did to the keeper's right, and uh, the keeper saved it. Landers swings in the resulting corner in towards the far post. It's taken down by Williams! Off the line, Barnett! Can't send it home! How has Barnett missed? It took a deflection, I think it's going to be a corner. Well, it came all the way through to the far post and the corner. Williams had an effort, really good block on the line. And then the follow-up from Barnett seems to have been turned wide by a Needham Market defender. And again, it just will not go in for Leamington. Well, yes, I mean, that's, you've hit the nail on the head there, Sean. That one seemed like it was destined to hit the back of the net, but Needham somehow got that one away. And all of a sudden, Needham Market rally themselves. They'll feel like they've been let off the hook, just like Leamington did in that first half. But again, it's another really good penalty save here at Yukart Community Stadium. After all that, we're going to have a substitution. It's going to be Williams that's going to be withdrawn for Joe Clark for Leamington over on the far side. And it's going to be Seth Carol Chambers, who's going to be withdrawn for Needham Market. 
ball over the top. Edwards needs to watch the bouncing ball because England's in attendance. Ingram gets the round him. Ingram touches it over Hawkins. Meredith off the line. Well, it was a neat bit of play because the bouncing ball got the better of Jack Edwards. Luke Ingram nipped in and didn't stand on ceremony. He tried to just loft it over the top of the oncoming Callum Hawkins who came out to close the angle. But Dan Meredith was wise to it. Got round to cover for his goalkeeper and headed it away from trouble, but only out for a quarter on the far side. Corner will be taken again by Tevin Allen. Raises his hand, sends the signal in towards the box of where he'll deliver the ball. He sends it in towards the near post. It's flicked all the way across and then just stabbed wide. Did it come off a breaks player? Yes, it did. It's going to be another corner. Everybody just look towards the referee as it pinballed around inside that six yard box. And again, we need to mark it, have a chance to work the ball in towards the Leamington penalty area. We've got just over 15 minutes of regulation play left. Allen sends it in towards the near post again, headed away by the Leamington frontman Tyrone Barnett. Lie helps it back out towards corner taker Allen. Allen back towards Hammond. Hammond, loose touch. Quayner couldn't nick it and take it away from him. Back out towards Allen again. Allen swings the cross in towards the near post. It's touched down towards the right hand side, all the way across the face of goal. Back heel and in. It's been turned home, but it's been turned home by number 14, Jamie McGrath. It came all the way across the six-yard box. There was too much space at the far post for McGrath, and instead of turning on it, he's tied a neat little back heel into the corner. Callum Hawkins couldn't get down to it, and Leamington find themselves one goal behind to the league leaders. And a superb finish, you've got to give credit there. He um, took that brilliantly. Um, he had to read the flight of the ball that was coming over the breaks defence. Uh, swivelled, got a nice little back heel to it, turned it in at the far post, but yeah, Leamington just were under sustained pressure there, couldn't quite clear, um, clear it away, and as you say, Needham Market take the lead. Well, the Needham Market fans behind that goal really enjoyed that one. They all ran down to greet the Needham Market players who ran over to them as well with McGrath leading the way. So Leamington have it all to do now in the remaining 12 minutes or so of this encounter. Leamington nil, Needham Market one. The goal coming courtesy of Jamie McGrath. Leamington still forward, trying to get something from this game. Jaya Madrano, the substitute with the corner, swings it in left footed, in towards the heads. Headed goalwards, headed down. Can it be turned home? It's just onto the roof of the net. How has it not gone in? Well, there was a combination of a save, a combination of it pinging around almost on the line. And as it looped up and everyone drew breath to see if it would turn into the back of the net, it just landed on the roof over the top of the crossbar. It is another corner. Madrano over on the far side will take it once more. They all pile in around the goalkeeper. Madrano, that's where he swings it. Punched away well. Walker over the top. Wow. Again, Leamington have had chances in this game, but it will not just go in, Craig Barnes. Yeah, it's um, frustratingly just not falling Leamington's way and the ball will not cross the, that goal line. This is likely the last chance for anything to happen for the Golden Black. Madrano with the throw towards the near post. It's flicked out towards the edge. It's well defended again. And that is that. And Needham Market, the league's top team, have picked up all three points at Yukart Community Stadium this afternoon. It was a tale of two penalty misses. But in the end, it was a neat finish by Jamie McGrath that's done the damage and allowed Needham Market to pick up another three points as their march up the top of the table continues. Callum Hawkins looks a bit desolate, sat down in the centre circle, but either way, Leamington have had their chances this afternoon, but they just could not hit the back of the net, Craig. Well, it's one of those games, I think, Sean, isn't it, where on another day you could have scored three, four goals, but, um, yeah, it would just would not drop. It would not go Leamington's way. Obviously, you know, we're going to be, everyone, the fans leaving here are disappointed, um, uh, but... You know, equally, we could have won that game and there's still reasons to be confident and uh, looking forward for the rest of the season. It's finished here at Yukart Community Stadium. Leamington nil, need a market one. Paul, a very um, hard game there, a lot to unpack. Uh, Leamington coming away with the loss. Uh, your thoughts on today's game? Yeah, well, obviously bitterly disappointed. I mean, um, you know, it's... Uh, Probably the last two weeks now, Kettering and, and today, we've had enough chances to um, win the two games comfortably. Um, started well today, good opportunities. Um, then you've you've got the penalty down there, which I don't know. Then then you've got the penalty up there, which is just 
in all my years and I've seen anything like it, but there you go. Um, second half, then it's, it's it's probably standing there thinking there's only one team going to win it. Um, we've had a, we've had the chances, but I've watched these a few times and I've seen them do that time and time again. Uh, what I would say about them is the goal that we've conceded, they wouldn't concede. Uh, and so they did, to sum it up in a nutshell for us today, it's obviously we're creating opportunities. So it's hard to be critical um, because listen, we've, we've missed one-on-ones, penalties, goals on the line. We needed a bit more composure, especially when the keeper's on the floor and, and we're hitting him, you know, um, to get to get ahead. You know, um, um, and then we'll be disappointed when we look back at the goal because we've, you know, we've, we're not, we haven't been aggressive enough to stop the cross. It's come around, it's ended up back in, in the S. You know, we've got to defend that one v one better. Make sure you can see the ball, don't sell yourself. That's disappointing. But listen, similar to last week, if we take our chances, win the game comfortably. That's the bottom, that's the bottom line. And. Um, um, so it's, it's one of them that you've got to keep plugging away that you're going to hopefully keep creating chances and the goals go in um, and then it's a, it's a different picture then uh, but definitely yeah frustrating uh, uh, frust- frustrating you've got to give them credit they've hung on in there and you know they've um, we've probably let them get away with it because we haven't been clinical enough um, but they've done that a lot this year 1-0 away from home so it's um, and the, I think the biggest thing between the two sides is that um, they wouldn't concede the goal we've conceded today. Um, we've opened them up on team times with good play, but uh, poor finishing and good goalkeeping of uh, probably the reason that we've got nothing today. So uh, disappointed. We've put a lot into today. Um, it's difficult at the moment trying to try and everything the way the weather is. We've put a lot into today. Um, so to get nothing is they didn't deserve. Listen, we didn't deserve nothing, but we've ended up with nothing. But that, that's the way. That's the way football is sometimes. So yeah, just get on the training ground this week and practice finishing. I think and. Um, and see so where it takes us next week. You said there about the penalty shout in the first minute, as well as their penalty that was mm. given. There was a lot of frustration on the pitch with the players. How yeah, do you keep I, that in I check? Think, yeah, that, 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 one of the biggest things probably in managing for a long time, it's trying to manage players' emotions because they. And you could see us with the when the penalty was given up there on Theo, which when you look back at it, you'll you'll know exactly because I had a clear view of it. So I, can, I can comment on it. It's just it's bizarre. Uh, and this, you know, Dale's, you know, he's been. A, Reft a decent level for a long time, so he knows the game. So I don't understand it. But then um, the only little thing with him, what you know, we probably felt a few things had gone against us early in the game. And the only thing I can put it down, he's got a little bit personal in that moment. Um, bizarre, but um, but then sadly, as much as you try and control people's emotions and players' emotions, they they can see they can see an injustice because I think when you, when you look back, you look at this one down there, that one up there, and you'll not, you'll, you'll probably down there, and you try and get players back, and we settled everyone down at half time, and uh, I spoke to Dale, and um, yeah, so that was it. But second half was it was good, it's good in terms of you know we've had all the big chances in the game, we haven't took them, and then we've got done with a goal that we should we should have we should have dealt with really. Um, so it's disappointing. I mean, you know, it's been a long time since we lost a game, um, so it's uh, not nice, frustrating. Um, and, I, you know, we were definitely the architects of our own down, downfall today. So um, that is, that's that's the disappointing thing. Because as I said many a time, you know, if, you, if a team comes in and they're better than you and they, um, and that's happened to us many a time here over the years, get better teams, come and do a job on you and score good goals, you you um, you go fair enough. But when you've, we've had probably all the chances today, goalkeepers had nothing to do all afternoon, you end up losing 1-0, it's, um, yeah, it's a frustrating one really. But there you go, well, it's like you said, we have to move on quickly.